birthday dinner tonight. And it's a, uh, well, this is a pretty good field. The two gentlemen who represented the United States in this race last week in Shanghai are in this finals. As well as, well as another Olympian. And this is as good as a field as you're going to get in the 100 back to right. for the United States. There's nobody else that's missing except for Michael Phelps, who probably wouldn't swim this anyway. So this and, is it. Right. Lochte did not swim this in the world, but he does choose to take it on here in the national championships. But again, both men who did swim in the worlds for the U.S. are here in this final. Lane one is Mitchell Friedemann from the Schrader swim team. It's outside of Milwaukee. He had a personal best this morning. Ben Hessen, NCAA champ, 2008 in the 100 yard back, Indiana University swimmer in lane two. Lane three, the Auburn Aquatics, Kyle Owens, a 20-year-old, swam this event in the 08 Olympic Trials. Nick Thoman, Nick Thoman came in fourth in Shanghai in this race in the 100 back. And he'll swim out of lane four. And of course, Nick was a part of, a very proud part of that medley relay team, Matt Grievers. Matt Gravers, the short course champion in the 100 back last December. Olympian, two golds and a silver in his Olympic career. Ryan Lochte coming off that fabulous week in Shanghai. Lochte will come out of lane six. Swam collegiately in this very pool for Stanford University. Also swam the trials Godso. of this uh, distance in 08, Eugene Godso, and he went a personal best this morning. David Russell, who swam at Cal, and still coached by Cal's coach, Dave Durden. David Russell swims out of lane eight. Lane nine, he is the defending national champion. That's how David Plummer won this race last summer in Irvine. That's what got him to the Worlds. He finished fifth in Shanghai in this, and David Plummer comes out of lane nine, and Adam Amanya is a veteran, 27-year-old. He actually swims and coaches both at the same swim team as Mitchell Friedman in lane one. Represents the Schrader YMCA swim team in Wisconsin. And so, Ryan Lochte, you've got Matt Grievers, who was silver in Beijing, but you've got the defending world champion, or excuse me, defending national champion in this race as well, and David Plummer in lane nine. I think this race is more important for Matt Grievers than anybody else. He struggled a little bit last summer. He didn't make the world championship team. He had a great time earlier this year, 53-3 he went. I think he kind of wants to prove a point to say that last summer was sort of just a hiccup in his career. Certainly, maybe not the most talented, but he has the incredible talent in backstroke. Great sprint freestyler, too. But you, you talked about this, Rowdy. It's that we've turned the corner now. You're into the Olympic year. That's so why like it, it, you're so right, Ted. And that's why it's so important for him to get off this wall and get up and get moving here. Very good going out 25-9. Lochte, though, right with him at 26 flat. So as they come in now, into the last 25, Grievers and Lockie in the middle. Grievers has a slight edge on him. Thoman's making a push at four. Can Grievers hang on? It's Thoman pushing, but it is Grievers. Grievers hangs on at 53-14. And that's a strong swim for Grievers, just what Rowdy talked about. That's sixth best in the world this year. Yeah, and it was an important swim. You see Nick Thoman, really great comeback for him to grab second. 53-5 coming for him, coming off the world championships. But that was a solid swim for Matt Grievers, exactly what he needed. Best time so far for him this year. As you said, it ranks in the top five, third fastest American. Ryan Lochte fell off the pace just a little bit. Right at the end, he exploded off the 50 wall, which he's so good at. And here's the start right here. Nobody better underwater than Ryan Lochte in the whole world. 
And here's the turn right here at the 50. You can see kind of Lochte and Grievers right there bunched up in the middle. Lochte actually touched first. But Lochte just came up and exploded off that wall. And then Grievers hang, hangs on just barely. There's Stoneman right above him, Lochte. Lochte just kind of ran out of gas at the end, which, you know, that's hard to say with Ryan Lochte, but still a solid time, all three of them under 54. Yep. Second place, uh, Thoman, 53-57, which is actually, a, that's a top 10 time in the world this year also. Lochte takes third. So Matt Grievers, who won this in the short course championships in Columbus last December, now has himself a long course national championship. And Matt Grievers now joins us from the deck. Matt, congratulations. Thank you. How important was that swim for you? Uh, it was pretty important. Uh, had to show that I could do a good long course under backstroke. Hopefully, uh, try to scare Ryan out of for next trials. <laughs> <laughs> what was the key to that race with Ryan and so many great backstrokers in it, though, for you, Matt? Um, I'm trying a new thing, which is go out a little slower to be my race. Uh, it's really hard to do when you're next to those guys because you want to be in the lead. That's a comfortable spot, but. You were still out fast, 25-9 going out, so that was pretty quick going out. <laughs> Great news. <laughs> Ted, Ted asked Missy about racing outside. What was it like for you? I've been training outside, so uh, I'm pretty comfortable with it. Still almost hit the lane line when I start getting in the groove. I stopped paying <laughs> attention, but I did pretty well in that race. All right, well, you feel like you've entered this Olympic year well, Matt? Uh, fairly well. I'll give myself a B. Okay. Well, congratulations on adding a national championship. <laughs> Thank you very much. Matt Grievers winning the men's 100 back. We've still got more to come. You've already seen some of America's best in the women's 200 free. Another field loaded with Olympians and world championship swimmers.